Kung Fu Panda 4. Why are you here? Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm happy to see you. But why are you here? The trilogy told a complete story of a lowly panda's journey to unlocking his potential amidst prejudice and judgment and came to a very satisfying conclusion. So why Kung Fu Panda 4? I ask this in the same way I would ask the question if I walked into my house and found Angelina Jolie on my couch waiting for me. I'm glad to see you, but why? Why are you here? Let's explore that question together. Kung Fu Panda 4 is a 2024 animated action movie starring the voices of Jack Black, Dustin Hoffman, and Aquafina because apparently she's under contract to appear in every animated movie from now until the end of time. In this film, Poe is told he must pass on the mantle of the Dragon Warrior to someone new as he is expected to become the spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. Given that Poe spent an entire three movies to become the Dragon Warrior in the first place, he's upset at this forced promotion, as we would all be. But he doesn't have time to mope as an evil shape-shifting chameleon named the Chameleon, is coming to power far away. Now Poe must team up with a petty criminal fox named Jen to put an end to this building badness and be awesome doing it. Yeah, take a guess to who becomes the new Dragon Warrior. Go on, guess. No spoilers, but if you made a guess, you probably got it right. And there is my biggest problem with Kung Fu Panda 4. It is incredibly predictable and unsurprising. The moment you know the premise and the characters, you will know exactly what the character arcs and outcomes will be. Nothing in this movie arrives unexpectedly, and compared to the first three movies, story-wise, it is a tremendous dip in quality. The thing is, it really didn't have to be this way. Kung Fu Panda 4 needlessly jettisons elements from the original trilogy that gave it its charm. Do you remember the Furious Five? Kung Fu Panda sure didn't. They're not in this movie, save for a small itty bitty cameo at the end and all of the plot that came along with them. Poe's adoration of them and his need to be accepted by them and the five coming to see Poe as an equal, it's gone. And it didn't have to be that way. None of the new characters come close to approaching the Five's presence, and this movie feels incomplete as a result. It didn't have to be this way because there was an easy fix. Have Tigress be the new dragon warrior. Have her journey be one of humility, where she wasn't able to become what she wanted until she softened her heart and found peace within herself. I don't want to spoil this movie for those who haven't seen it, but it could have effortlessly been inserted into this movie's plot, and the movie would have been so much more satisfying than the predictable path that actually happened. Now, please don't assume that my incessant nerdy nitpicking means that this movie is bad. It most certainly is not. Kung Fu Panda 4 is charming, funny, and fun. Jack Black is always great, Aquafina is also there, and James Hong and Brian Cranston are given larger parts, which is great because Cranston is such a huge talent, and James Hong is an international treasure who I hope continues to walk the earth long after I'm gone. I also have to give it up for Viola Davis, who does a tremendous job giving life to a villain who isn't done any favors by the writers. The chameleon is a cliched by the number baddie, but Davis elevates her with every glorious syllable. We also get the return of Ian McShane as Tai Lung, which is great! But this movie also features Lord Shin from Part 2 and Kai from Part 3, but both of them say nothing because Gary Oldman and J.K. Simmons didn't return. Did this movie honestly try saving as much money as they could by not hiring back the old voice actors like it's some kind of Netflix spinoff? 
The Kung Fu Panda trilogy is one of the best trilogies ever made. And part four is an unneeded glowdown. Not terrible, completely acceptable on its own, and it's fine, I guess. But as a follow-up to Pandas 1 through 3, it is a disappointment. It's like Toy Story 4. It's fine, but years from now, it will be seen as little more than a footnote. As I said earlier, Kung Fu Panda 4. Why are you here? Please subscribe to this channel, like the video to appease the YouTube algorithm. Please become a Patreon to the channel, like our friends John Borg, Juliano Toniato, James Gibbons, and Bradley Amiel Julian. You can become a supporter of this channel for only $5 a month. It does make you more attractive and a better person, and I fully guarantee that, guarantee void on the planet Earth. And of course, be sure to join us next time as we find out what Jason watches.